Welcome to the Moore Realtors Weekly St. Louis Real Estate Market Update. I'm Dennis Norman, one of the brokers at Moore, and if you'll give me a few minutes of your time, I'll bring you up to date on what's going on in the St. Louis housing market. Let's jump right in with the real estate news. Here are some of the headlines from this past week from stlouisrealestatenews.com. St. Louis's best local source for news and information on the St. Louis real estate market. That's stlouisrealestatenews.com. Headlines this week included uh, a story about uh, REOs and shadow inventory being a, a roadblock to the recovery of the housing market. Uh, a report that had a, a little bit of good news uh, that the foreclosure rate was declining, however, also showing that that's due partly to lenders uh, slowing or delaying uh, foreclosing on uh, homes. And a good article from a local mortgage banker uh, about how borrowers should know their no and uh, with a uh, St. Louis mortgage interest rate update as well. And then a uh, little bit of other good news this week, a report from the National Association of Realtors showing that pending home sales increased in May and it was the largest monthly gain since last year. Now let's get into the market data. The, uh, the next three slides are going to be uh, uh, reports uh, on the entire St. Louis metropolitan statistical area, so the whole St. Louis MSA. Uh, this first one here has uh, uh, shows, and this is for the past week, shows that the median home price has remained steady at 182720 uh, We see days on markets taking an average of 102 days uh, for a home to sell in the St. Louis metropolitan area, and the average asking price is $100 a foot. Some other data here. If we go down to the bottom to the trademarked uh, market action index, we'll see it as a 12, which is a cold market and a buyer's market, place we've been for some time. If that number was a 30, it would be a perfectly balanced market. Uh, it would not uh, uh, be a buyer's or seller's market. The higher it goes above 30, the more it's a seller's market uh, and a hot market. The lower it goes, the more it's a cold market. We can see it's uh, pretty cold. This next slide here is a, a new one I uh, added this week, and this is a chart for the Market Action Index. This one goes back uh, about three years, and we can see what the Market Action Index for the St. Louis MSA has done. We can see back here in uh, uh, 08 that uh, it was actually up around 16.5, uh, that it's dropped as low as down here at almost 11 and a half uh, late last year, as went up and back downward now. The nice thing about this market action index is we've got a ton of data and uh, stats available and charts to, to really help buyers and sellers understand the market. Uh, some of it can be a little overwhelming. Uh, this particular index here, this takes into account uh, a lot of things. The inventory of homes for sale in the market, the number of new listings versus uh, uh, listings that either went pending, uh, sold or expired and didn't come back on the market. Uh, prices, lots of things, and it, uh, it it then establishes this index. So this is kind of a quick snapshot of what the overall market's like. Uh, we do have these. We can bring tailor these things down to a zip code level or city level. Uh, just contact us, and we'd, we'd be happy to uh, to get you uh, uh, charts uh, that uh, represent your specific market. Uh, this next one, still in the St. Louis MSA. This shows what the median price trend has been. The orange one is a 90-day uh, price trend, and we can see it dipped in early uh, uh, part of the 2011, and it's been steadily rising. The, the black line is a seven-day average, so it shows low fluctuations in the market. And based upon this, we can see that mm, over the past month or so here, the prices have actually uh, trended downward slightly, but not too bad. Now, these next charts are going to be for the uh, St. Louis five county area, so the core of uh, St. Louis of the St. Louis market. This would include the city of St. Louis, St. Louis County, St. Charles County, Jefferson County, and Franklin counties combined. And uh, so the data is going to be a little different than the whole MSA. Uh, this first one shows the median home prices as well as the median number of days it's taking homes to sell. The uh, green line being sales prices and. We can see what they've done over the, this is the 12 months. So we can see over the past 12 months uh, what they've done. And, and really since uh, about March here, they've, they've trended upward. Now, don't pay a lot of attention to this spike here at the end because this is only the first day of July. So it's going to skew it. Uh, days on market was uh, steadily coming down, but we can see uh, 
going into June, it was rising a little bit. This next chart's the same data, only uh, just year to date. So we can see it a little more clear what the trend is. And, and the price, the median price trend is, is clearly going upward for this five county area. And days on market had, had declined, but seems to be uh, going back upward. This next chart here is, uh, it depicts the ratio of the final sales price of a home to what it was listed at. Uh, I've looked at two things here. One, the original list price, so whenever the house first hit the market, what it was originally listed at versus what it sold for. And then finally, uh, the uh, uh, blue line, which represents the sales price to what it was listed for at the time of sale. This is not really a, an indicator of what home prices are doing. This is more an indicator of how realistic uh, the sellers are and, and, and how accurately priced uh, homes are in the market, uh, how good a job realtors are doing or, or real estate agents with guiding and, and directing sellers. And, and that's a key element in this market. Um, in a market like this, uh, time is not your friend and uh, homes really need to be priced accurate uh, right from the start because uh, we've seen over the past few months, homes are going down in value uh, not up in value, so the longer it takes you to sell your home, most likely the less you're going to get. But what we see here, again, let's kind of ignore this little spike in July, but we can see these lines are converging and they're also going up. So this just shows that the market's getting educated, and I would hope after three years of it, people are uh, are waking up and realizing what reality is. So uh, this is a year-to-date one, which again just shows the same thing. So it shows that uh, pricing is probably getting a little more in line with the market. This next one's a, a historic look. This is a 10-year uh, uh, chart showing median home prices and median uh, the sales prices and median uh, list price over the past 10 years. The blue represents the list prices and, and the green represents the sales prices. And we can see what you know what we'd expect the hump here in 06 and, and pretty much trending downward. Uh, and you can see that where we're at with median home prices. Yeah, if we go back to 01, um, it's not quite there, but it's, uh, I think most economists and analysts are, are saying home prices are around the uh, 2003 level, the summer 2003. But I'd say here in St. Louis, it's actually the median price is more like the 01 level. Uh, this is a uh, the same chart, only just a 12, uh, the last 12 months. And again, we can see... Uh, Median prices, sales prices trending downward a little bit, although sellers are getting optimistic and they're trending upward. And what I've given you uh, here is a quick snapshot of the overall St. Louis market. At More Realtors, we have the knowledge, experience, and resources to counsel you, help you interpret the data, and tell you what it means to your particular situation. We can prepare custom reports and charts. Uh, for you, so you can stay on top of uh, home prices and market activity in your neighborhood or neighborhood or area you are interested in buying a home on. Click on the chart to see complete market data. In addition, we publish a free monthly newsletter that is packed with information, news, and resources on the St. Louis real estate market. You can sign up here on our website to receive it monthly via email, or you can click on the uh, newsletter here and be taken to a site to sign up. And finally, my partner, John Williams, and myself, along with our team of dedicated real estate professionals, are here to use our experience and knowledge to help make your next real estate transaction a successful one, no matter how challenging your situation may be. Click on our photos to find out more about us. Thank you, God bless you, and I'll see you next week.